If the drive's default configuration is not the one you want, you can change it in just a few steps. Let's look at how to navigate the menu through the onboard keypad. The VLB3 parameters are divided into eight groups. Press the Confirm button on the right to access it. Group 0 contains a customizable list of favorite parameters, such as those that you use most often. To exit, press the Exit button on the left as many times as necessary. Group 1 is used for diagnostics, for monitoring variables and drive measurements. Motor frequency, current draw, motor voltage, torque, power, and so on. Group 2 is one of the most important because it contains the main functions for programming the drive. The source of the start-stop command, the onboard keypad or the contacts on the terminal board, and is used to define the frequency control source, again from the keyboard or from the analog input and others. It is also used to program the operating limits, such as maximum and minimum frequency, acceleration and deceleration time, and so on. Group 3 is used to set motor parameters, selecting the motor control mode and its rating plate data. Group 4 is for programming the functions of the inputs, both digital and analog, and of the outputs on board the drive. For example, the run function is assigned by default to DI1, as shown here. Group 5 is used to set the parameters of the communication bus, Modbus, can open, Profibus, depending on the type of logic unit mounted on the drive. Group 6 is the menu to enable PID control and to set its parameters. Group 7 is used to configure advanced functions. The device's subset of commands includes, among other things, resetting default parameters, DC braking, multiple parameter setting, and so on. And lastly, Group 8 is used for sequencer configuration to set up programmable frequency and time cycles.